It's Reezy, owner of the Reason Sports Network, reporting live at the Reason Sports Center. And today, we have a top 15 matchup in college football, a game that a lot of people have been waiting for. The Clemson Tigers going up against the Miami Hurricanes. Clemson's the defending national champions, and a lot of people expected them to be undefeated at this point in the season. But no one, and I mean no one, expected Miami to be undefeated. And they're led by their star, walk-on quarterback, Javier Rodriguez. Javier Rodriguez was born and raised in the tough neighborhoods of Miami, Florida. Growing up in a predominantly Hispanic community, he witnessed firsthand the challenges and struggles faced by his family and friends. From a young age, Javier developed a passion for football, finding solace and escape from the harsh realities of his surroundings on the field. As a teenager, Javier excelled as a football player at his local high school. Despite his natural talent and determination, his circumstances posed significant obstacles to his dreams of playing college football. The lack of resources and opportunities in his community made it difficult for him to gain exposure to college recruiters. Many colleges overlook players from his neighborhood because there hasn't been a college player that's been successful from his neighborhood yet. But Javier is determined to change that. Javier refused to let adversity define him. He poured every ounce of effort into improving his skills, training tirelessly and sacrificing countless hours to perfect his craft. His relentless work ethic caught the attention of a few scouts, and although he didn't receive any scholarship offers, he refused to give up on his dream. With a chip on his shoulder and an unwavering belief in himself, Javier decided to take matters in his own hands. He reached out to the University of Miami, his hometown team, expressing interest in joining their program as a walk-on player. Recognizing his determination and talent, the coaching staff invited Javier to try out for the team. The trial was grueling, pushing Javier to his limits physically and mentally, but he embraced the challenge knowing that this was his best opportunity to prove himself. Despite being undersized compared to some other recruits, Javier's speed, agility, and sheer determination caught the eye of the coaching staff. After a tense wait, Javier received the news that he'd been longing for. He earned a spot on the University of Miami football team as a walk-on player. The joy and relief he felt was immeasurable. Javier had overcome the odds stacked against him, transforming his dreams into reality through sheer determination and unwavering perseverance. Javier did so many great things during training camp that he ended up earning a starting spot and earned himself a scholarship. The coaches were shocked at how good he was and how much he improved from high school as a senior to a freshman in college. But he really shocked the rest of the college football world at how good he is because he started off this season on fire as a quarterback leading the Hurricanes to a 3-0 record, ranked number 17th in the nation, and he's number one on the Heisman list right now. But today won't be an easy matchup as he's facing the number one cornerback and really the number one secondary in all of college football, Andrew Rice and the Clemson Tigers. As of right now, Andrew Rice is in Miami walking around getting ready for the game tomorrow. Ever since he's came into college football, he's been outstanding. He led Clemson to the national championship last year while he won almost every single award for defensive player of the year and won defensive back of the year to Jim Thorpe. But Rice has been doing just as good this year, if not better. Last game, he didn't even allow a catch. And he's better mentally as he's gotten a better grasp of college football over the past season. He's also gotten much more diligent in his film study. Even though he's already watched some film on Miami, two weeks ago, he was watching the Miami versus SMU game live. Sheesh. That was a nice throw, Dami. Put it right on the money. Didn't even put too much on it. Laid it right in there.
Uh oh. Open field. Ooh, made him look stupid. Oh, okay. Shorty gonna be a problem for us when we play them in two weeks. For real. As Andrew was watching the game, he knew that he would need to bring his A-game today. Going up against a dog receiver like that and Tony Dimes and the quarterback Javier, it's going to be a problem for him. If you didn't already know, Tony Dimes is part of the generationally talented Dimes family. His younger brother, Laron Dimes, is currently the best freshman in all the high school football for Bishop Gorman High School. His older brother is the best player in the NBA for the Miami Heat. Just recently won an NBA MVP and his older sister was the number one overall pick in the 30-21 WNBA draft and she plays for the Miami Soul. And all of them are 7 feet plus, so Andrew's gonna have to deal with a freakish athlete today. And his siblings will be at the game. But enough with all the talking, let's get on with the game. Welcome to Hard Rock Stadium, where we have the Miami Hurricanes facing against the Clemson Tigers. And a lot of stars are out today. Here we have Laron Dimes, AJ Dimes, Anthony Dimes, the Dimes family, a father and his two sons, here to support their other sons. It's kind of crazy, you see three giants just walking up in this stadium like it's nothing. We see two future stars right here, Malachi Pierre and Curtis Rose, two brothers, two star players that were born and raised in Miami, high school recruits. Curtis Rose on the left and Malachi Pierre is on the right. Curtis Rowe plays for Miami Central High School, and Malachi Pierre plays for Miami Northwestern High School, two of the most famous schools in Miami. And I heard Javier, Tony Dines, and some other guys on Miami were begging for these guys to come to the game today. Where the Dolphins play, where the Hurricanes play, it doesn't matter. It's going down at Hard Rock Stadium. Offensively, Clemson's had a bit of a struggle so far this year. Pass offense 98th, rush offense 97th, passing touchdowns 121st, rushing touchdowns 81st. Not good. But Miami, on the other hand, their pass offense is 11th, rushing touchdowns 10th, passing touchdowns 5th. But they're going up against a whole new beast today. Arguably the best defense in all of college football, the Clemson Tigers. Number one in points, number two in yards, number six in passing yards, and number three in rushing yards. While their offense leaves a lot to be desired, their defense is carrying the team right now. The reason why a lot of people pick Miami for this upset is that Miami's defense isn't too bad. And their offense is explosive. That can be a recipe for disaster for Clemson. But we'll find out shortly. Andrew Rice said he's following Tony Dimes all game, so expect a lot of man coverage. Javier throws it to Brown and the pass is dropped. Second down and 10. We all know why we're here though. We're here for the Andrew Rice Tony Dimes matchup. Something that we've been waiting on. Second down and 10. Rice with inside leverage. They send the tight end in motion. Rice doesn't get hands on him this time. Beats him inside. Has nice coverage on him, but Tony Dimes still makes the 15 yard reception. And this is why a lot of people, especially guys like Mason Kuyper, has Tony Dimes rated as the number one wide receiver in the class of 3022 for the draft. He has the size, the speed, the hands, and he can stop on a dime, run a nice route. Just beat Andrew Rice right there. Not a lot of guys can beat Andrew Rice. Second down and 13, they would send the tight end in motion. Rice gets hands on him. Javier keeps it on the option. Now he's got the first down and a lot more. Javier showing off his explosiveness. It's popped off a little cool 22-yard game like it was nothing. And this is why this guy is currently ranked number one in the Heisman rankings. For plays like this, he makes it routine. First and 10, Miami's moving the ball on this Clemson defense so far. Almost in the red zone. First down and 10, they would send the tight end in motion. Rice gets hands on dimes. Rodriguez trying to find somebody. Rice locks his man up. He dumps it off the green. 
Ends up getting six yards, second down and four. Clemson, we get a TFL on second and four force and a third down and five. And Miami comes out in the empty backfield. 2.30 left to go in the first quarter. Rice gets hands on dimes. Tries to run a whip route. Nowhere to go with the football. Pressure ends up getting to the quarterback. Andrew Rice and the rest of the secondary do their job. Andrew's been playing great coverage so far in this game. He did give up that one catch, but it was tight coverage. I'm not going to lie to you. Score is 3 nothing. Miami's up over Clemson. They have the ball right now. First down and 10. They send the tight end in motion again. Rice, press man coverage, locking his man down. Rodriguez decides to dump it off the brown. He only got two. Rice with the clamps on the play. Javier really wanted to go downfield, but he just decided to check it down. Third down and six. 110 left to go in the first quarter. Rice presses his man. Rodriguez trying to find somebody. Throws it on the slant. He got it complete to Jacob Horn. The five-star freshman out of St. Thomas Aquinas in Florida. A subscriber to the channel, by the way. Rice is a film junkie. He's been studying film on Tony Dimes for weeks. He knew that this would be his best matchup of the season. He knew he had to come with his A game. So on first down and 10, they tried to hit him with the comeback, but he ran the route for him. That's all film study right there. Second and 10 with 49 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Miami trying to get across midfield. Javier rolls out to the right. Everybody's locked up, dumps it off the Heath, and Andrew Rice was all over that, even though that wasn't even his man. Third and nine. Can Clemson get off of the field? Can Miami convert? We'll find out. They sent Beckham in motion. Rice gets cut. They're running a the screen pass. Rodriguez with a whole bunch of time. Rice trying to sack him. Dumps it off to Beckham. Beckham gets the first down and a lot more. 16 yard reception. This will probably be the last play of the first quarter as time is winding down. Rice lined up one-on-one -on -one with Tony Dimes. They send the tight end in motion. Screen pass coming from Miami. Andrew Rice gets pushed right on his back, but the running back ends up getting tackled behind the line for a loss of three. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Nice defensive battle going on. The Miami Hurricanes are up 3-0 over Clemson. So far, it's a nice competitive game. It's looking like an upset if we base the game on the first quarter. Second and six. Rice. Eyes to the quarterback. Running the comeback. Javier decides to test him. Andrew Rice with another interception. And a lot of green grass to run. Can he make it all the way? Javier chasing him down. Can he get there? Andrew Rice. 20. 10, 5, touchdown, Clemson. Andrew Rice is a game changer. When you need a play to be made on defense, he jumps in front of the best wide receiver in college football, snatches the rock from him, and goes all the way. It must be film study. He knew he was running a comeback from the start. Quarterback, for some reason, thought he could fit the ball right there, especially on Andrew Rice. That's crazy. Rice jumps in front of it. And it's a pick six for 90 plus yards. And this just shows you how fast Andrew Rice is because this is a 4-3 guy chasing after him. Clemson with their first lead of the ball game. And it's not even from an offensive touchdown. They got it off of a pick six. Rodriguez hands it off to Campbell and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of three. Second and 13. 3.30 left to go in the first half. Looking like a zero blitz situation coming from Clemson. Javier keeps it on the option. Andrew Rice makes the play at the line of scrimmage, forcing a third down and 13. A pass situation right here. Clemson's defense can just hunt after the quarterback. The pass rush hasn't been excellent this season, but this right here is their chance to make a play. Rice, press man on dimes, has him locked down. Rodriguez, nowhere to go, ends up getting sacked. The pass rush gets there. The front end working with the back end. And it's a beautiful sight to see, forcing a fourth down and 19. Three-man rush. Javier doesn't know where to go because everyone's locked up downfield. They got a quarterback spy on him. It's perfect. Ever since that catch that he gave up on the first drive, Andrew Rice has been shutting down Tony Dimes in front of his father, in front of his brother. It's crazy, but Miami gets the ball around the 50-yard line because of a turnover. Rodriguez sees that Dimes is open, and Tony Dimes get his second catch of the game. Rice one-handed snag after he beat Andrew Rice. Just as I was hyping up Rice for shutting down Dimes, he beats him right here and just has a beautiful catch. Third down and eight right here. 120 left to go in the first half. Rice with inside leverage on dimes. Gets hands on him. Ashley locks him up. Rodriguez throws it to the sideline. And Jacob Horn, the five-star freshman with a nine-yard reception. 
Second and six. 115 left to go in the first half. Option from Miami. Throws it to the running back. Brown ends up getting a first down. It's first and goal Miami. A chance to take the lead right before the first half ends. As much as Clemson has the lead right now, Miami has been the better team throughout the ball game. They just fumbled on some opportunities. Second down and goal. They send Javon Beckham in motion. Option play for Miami. Rodriguez hands it off to Brown. Andrew Rice makes the play. Loss of two. Third down and goal. This is where Clemson has to make a stand. Either Miami can go up, take the lead, or... They'll be down by one. Third and goal. They're playing zone coverage. Rodriguez dumps it off to Beckham, trying to get in the end zone with a stiff arm. DB makes a nice play in his fourth down and goal. Clemson with a huge stop right before halftime. And that'll be the half. The score is 7-6. Clemson's up over Miami. Welcome to the Reason Sports Halftime Show brought to you by the Reason Sports Universe. If you want to be a player in our universe, be featured on this YouTube channel, then please watch this video right here. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. You can also view your player's season and career stats online. The link will be in the description. I also added a social media feature for the universe to be more immersive. The link to that video will also be in the description. If you don't have Patreon, but you still want to be featured on the channel more, then make sure you're active in the comment section. You being consistently active reminds me to put you on the channel in some way. When you submit a form, your character will be put in the universe. You can see yourself in a live stream or video when teams play, but it's highly unlikely that you'll see me controlling your player throughout a game if you don't have Patreon. Signing up with Patreon gives you control over attributes, accessories, gives you a GTA face, control over your backstory, and you'll be one of the best players in the universe. Also, if you didn't know, anybody with a period next to their name is a subscriber to the channel. Anybody with an apostrophe next to their name is a Patreon member. But so far, this game has lived up to the hype. Nice competitive back and forth game. Miami has been the better offense, if we're being honest. They've been the better overall team, if we're being honest. But Andrew Rice's pick six really changed the game. Miami has been deep in the Clemson territory three times in this ball game. Clemson has been deep in the Miami territory zero times in this ball game, yet they still have the lead due to that incredible pick six from Andrew Rice. And Miami doesn't even have a touchdown in this game, so shout out to Clemson's defense for bowing their back. But Miami should be leading in this ball game. Like, just take a look at the team stats. Clemson has 25 total yards of offense, two turnovers, 148 time of possession, yet they're still winning because of their defense and their outstanding cornerback. Let's get on with this second half. I'm tired of talking about the game. Let's watch the game. Empty backfield for the Miami Hurricanes, five wide, first down and 10. Rodriguez, quarterback draw, trying to get some yardage. Nice little five yard game right there. Nothing special, but pretty decent. Coach decides to send Andrew Rice on the cat blitz right here. Andrew ends up making the tackle, forcing the third down in two. Another chance for Clemson to get off of the field, give the ball back to their offense so they can do something. Finally, third down and two. Rice, press man, locking up the slant. Rodriguez wants to go to him. Decides to throw it to the other man on the slant, and it's picked off. His second interception of the game, and he has a lot of room in the Hurricane territory right now. 120 left to go in the third quarter. That was a huge play. Rice locks up Tony Dimes. Nowhere to go, even with all that traffic in the way. Early in the game, I jinxed Andrew, saying that he was shutting down Tony Dimes. But other than those two catches that he's had in this game, Rice has been locking this man down. First and 10, Rice, man coverage on Dimes once again. Rodriguez decides to go deep. Rice squeezes him to the sideline, and it's an incomplete pass. Third and 12, 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Clemson's up by eight. Rice is lined up on Tony Dimes. Empty backfield for Miami. Rice locks up Dimes. Rodriguez with time. Goes deep. Nice pass to Horn. 19-yard reception. And that'll be the end of the third quarter for Miami, Florida. The Miami Hurricanes are trailing 14-6 to to the Clemson Tigers. Tony Dimes has pretty much been shut down throughout this game. And right here, they try to find him a way to get him the ball. Screen pass, throw it to Dimes, and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage by a defensive lineman. 
Third down and 10. Clemson comes out with the three down look. Rice lined up on dimes. Locks him up. Rodriguez with time. Ends up getting sacked because the pressure started to collapse. But the score is still 14-7, and Miami still has a chance to win this game. First and 10, Rice, press man. They run the option, and he blows up the play immediately. Running back only got one yard. They got to hurry up, though. It's less than three minutes left to go in the ball game, And this Clemson run defense has been immaculate. Second and nine, Rice, press man. Rodriguez decides to throw it to the other side of the field, and it's picked off. His third interception of the game. Javier playing his worst game, starting to press, which gave Clemson a short field, and the score is now 17 to 6. First and 10, 125 left. Rice presses dimes, has locked up coverage on him. That should have been another pick. Javier, you got to chill out, my boy. Really, the only way for Miami to win this ball game, they got to score real quick, get an onside kick, and then hopefully get three. Third down and three. Rice, press man, screen pass. Andrew Rice blows up the screen. Another big play from number five. Fourth down and six. This is their last chance. 40 seconds left to go in the game. People coming back to the line of scrimmage. Rice, eyes on the quarterback. Locks his man down. Has some help from 24. He ends up making a play, and that's the ball game. The Clemson Tigers are going to move on. They're still undefeated. Even with a terrible offensive ball game like this, they still prevail because their defense is just that elite. Player of the game is Zeke McIntyre, but in my honest opinion, the player of the game has to be Andrew Rice. He shut down the best wide receiver in college football, had a pick six, was dominating at the line of scrimmage in the run game, man. I don't understand it, but, you know, they like to give it to offensive players, so I kind of do understand it. But 17-6, here from Miami, Florida. Javier, I think he'll bounce back next week. Same thing with Tony Dimes. They just ran into a brick wall. I mean, you're a walk-on quarterback, and we know that you're talented, but you're still a walk-on quarterback. You're a freshman, and you're going up against the number one defense in college football, the team that won the national championship last year. But their offense, though, Jalen Bryant, 6 for 10, 27 yards passing in a college football game. 27 yards passing. But Zeke McIntyre, a subscriber to the channel, he had 16 carries for 90 yards. Nobody did anything in the receiving game. Defensively, though, a lot of guys did their thing. Andrew Wright, 7 solo tackles, 2 TFLs, 1 pick 6 for 91 yards. And he shut down the best wide receiver in college football. Javier did not have his best game. 109 passing yards, 62% completion percentage, no touchdowns, three picks. Russian didn't only had nine carries for nine yards. The other running back, Jonathan Brown, he did a decent job today. Receiving though, Tony Dimes, three catches for 35 yards while he was lined up on Andrew Rice. Andrew Rice put the clamps on that boy today. But yeah, that's pretty much the stats of the game. But anyways, it's Reezy, owner of the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all comment on the video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click on the post notification bell too. Also, if you want to be a character on this channel, then please watch the halftime show. If you want to see the craziest ending in high school football history, then click this video right here. Or you can subscribe to the Patreon page, or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel.